Okay, welcome guys. Uh, today I'm going to just quickly explain and show you guys, if you don't already know, the new Tello uh, FPV app that's out. This one's not by Rise, but yeah, it's a pretty cool app nonetheless. So to find it, you just type in Tello or Rise and you'll see the Tello FPV control the Rise Tello app there. As you can see, I've already installed uh, the app. Uh, there is a demo version which limits you to flying only two meters, taking 20 seconds of video and uh, I believe one photo. So try it out, make sure it works with your phone first because it doesn't, this app doesn't work with uh, all phones. And obviously I'm using Android here so I'm not too sure about the iOS system. But yeah, let's go in and uh, let's have a look at it, see what it does. <clears throat> so you can see it brings up this pretty groovy screen. Uh, it gives you a couple of permissions first, but this is more or less what you open up to when you open it up. So just running through these menus from the top left to the top right uh, you've got your menu which I'll go through in detail shortly uh, next you've got your return to home uh, autopilot next is your circling your point of interest autopilot and uh, the fourth one is locking the autopilot which is that flag and um, throw uh, takeoff and hand landing which is the hand next to it and in the middle at the top you've got stop there which is a panic button I'm not too sure if that just kills the drone or if that makes it land we'll test it out shortly uh, camera settings toggle between photo and video and finally on the far right you've got your stop and start recording for photos and video um, you can see obviously your uh, joystick buttons there you can opt to have them disappear if you like if you're using the Bluetooth game sir which I am uh, those three dots under the uh, menu on the left there now what that one opens up is a menu which um, brings up your different flight modes so circling 360 degrees uh, up and away etc and of course those little arrows you see in the middle those four left turn arrows they do flips so I'll test them out too shortly and now down the bottom you've got a few different things um, from the far left again to the right you've got a V and now what that V stands for is uh, your speed mode indicator depending on what speed you've got your tello at um, next you actually have your speed meters per second then you've got your distance travelled your altitude take off and landing which is the one press like before Wi-Fi strength uh, tello battery phone battery and game server remote uh, battery so that's pretty much it in a nutshell I'll quickly buzz through these menus from the top left icon there so it's pretty in depth so have a play with it a uh, couple of cool features here your altitude limit you can just buzz it straight up to your 30 meters you can change your low battery warning um, your attitude 90 degrees I like mine right up to 25 because it gives you pretty pretty good drive uh, metric Imperial confirm takeoff yes uh, return to home here so you can set your altitude for returning to home so whether you want it 4 meters or 30 meters and um, we'll stick mine on about four meters i think pretty good number uh, descent on arrival no i'm just going to have it hover there and um, speed limit so five meters a second or two meters a second so i think we'll get this back as quick as we can and over in miscellaneous stretch the video to fit your screen um throttle up to cancel landing that's a pretty good feature i'll have that one turned on and we go back again and open up the photo and video a couple of good things here you can change your bitrate uh, your iframe interval uh, another cool thing is you can save your stream in uh, h264 uh, high def so we'll see how that works out as well uh, photo quality over here you can set to high low self timer pretty self-explanatory i'll just buzz through these because it's pretty easy now master controller um, if you have your uh, t1d you can hook that up which I have already uh, on screen joystick size you can have it really big or really little um, auto hide on screen joystick so you'll have that on hide and mapping you can actually adjust the mapping of your control if you want to which I haven't bothered touching flight log is pretty cool gives you actually a, a log of your total flights recordings when your last flight was etc so that could be quite interesting for stat nerds out there and then you got some help and about and finally the exit so skip to the outdoors and let's see how this app flies with my DJI Rise Tello
Yeah, wish me luck. Let's get going. Cue the editing. Okay, so Tello app, return to home feature test, number one. Okay, I've hooked it up. Uh, I've set the 30 meters, maximum height. <coughs> I've set uh, two meters return to home, high speed. Okay, let's get the recorder going. Record, looks like it's, uh, it counts up from 30 for some strange reason. All right, we better get cracking, see how this thing goes in uh, returning to home with my new app. Take off, yes. Okay. The good thing with this app is you can use the T1D controller but at the same time you can actually still use the mobile device touch screen controller although it does tend to make the thing behave a bit unusually so it's not responding now It'll take a couple of seconds to kick in and where are you going? Oh, come back over here. I'm going to have to put it down in a minute. No, land. Yeah, sometimes this T1D doesn't connect, which is a bit of a pain. I have paired it and done everything I need to do. Take off, yes. Okay, let's go over here now. We're up and running. So I'm going to take it some distance away with a bit of altitude. Still recording, yep. Let's go back here in the shade. Okay. Not too sure, too sure the Bluetooth is going to go too much further, so I'm going to go, oh dear, we're in trouble. Let's hit the home button. And it says the distance to go 36.0 meters. So I'm just going to leave it now and I'll see if it comes. Um, hello, I hope it stops soon. Ah, oh, here we go. Distance to go 4 meters, 3 meters. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty much where I've started. Okay, a little home thing flashing there. That's pretty cool. App deactivated on arrival. Okay, let's bring him back here. Let's do a bit of a distance check now because this is probably a fairly safe environment to do a distance check on. Let's see how far he thinks so those goalposts are over there. Okay, so what have we got going here? We've got uh, 12 meter distance, 13. Let's see how far we go before the game so it cuts out. And all the tele cuts out. 20 meters, 22, 26, 27, 28. I'm lying over near the river. Oh, 42 meters. Can I just see it anymore? Oh, there it is. So I've got the screen here. Get a little bit of light down. Screen's starting to pixelate a bit. I've got 70 meters there. Wi Fi signal is weak, so yeah, we're looking at about 70 meters. And I don't think I can control it now, it's not actually, uh, uh, yeah, it's going up I think. I can't actually see it down <laughs> Alright, oh dear we're in trouble, we better return to home. Okay, as you can see the screen's gone on terrible, 78, I've got 78 metres return to home and I'm not too sure if it's coming back here. Ah, oh, here we go, 70 metres, so it's now returning back to home. So that's a pretty cool feature this app. Oh, there it is up there, I can see it now. Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. I like it, look at that, it stopped dead in the sky. And it should come down to, uh, I think two meters ahead. set for, so look at that, right above me. And it's gonna keep going. Yeah. All right, let's bring it down. Yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. That's worth seven bucks, just in itself. Yeah, absolutely.
That's terrific. I think I've had, if I had my uh, um, remote extender on, it would do even better again. So, all right, let's go out there and do a uh, one of these other features here. We'll do a bit of a spin around on the spot. Don't go too far away. Let's just sit in there. Okay, this feature here, and we're going to go for the 360 degree turnaround. Ah, look at that, 360 degree spin around. Sweet, I wonder if you can incorporate a flip while it's spinning. Oh, that's just crazy, you can too. You can incorporate a flip while spinning. No, it stops spinning now. Okay, spin, 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 and let's do a flip. Okay, we're doing circle point now, so we're going to do, oh, let's do a 15 metre, and we can do a fast speed, and clockwise direction, and let's go, start. So we're doing a circle now. Circle distance approximately 12 metres. Oh, look at that, okay, that's pretty cool. So that allows you to circle around something. Hopefully I haven't made my uh, diameter too big so as to hit that pole, which I don't think I have. Well, that's pretty cool. I think my phone's about to die, so I'm going to cut it there, turn that off. Ripper. Um, it says it's about 7 bucks 50 Australian. Yeah, the wind, terrific. Well worth the money. And got a lot of other things which I'm not going to do now because my phone's about to die, so that'll be my next video. See you in the sky, guys. Thanks for watching. Take me. Bye for now.